Hey guys, Scott here. Today we're going to be talking about Iron Will and how I think it's the strongest survivor perk in the game that's not an exhaustion perk. Obviously, I think those are undoubtedly the strongest, but I think Iron Will is the strongest non-exhaustion perk in the game for Survivor. And I kind of made a similar video to this like maybe half a year ago uh, where I was talking about my least favorite perk to go against. Um, and that, of course, was Iron Will. And this is going to be sort of the reverse side of it because I don't think in that video I really uh, showed why it's so good for Survivor. I just showed why it's so annoying to go against this killer. And they're kind of similar, but I think uh, showing examples from both sides makes it more clear why uh, I hate going against this perk so much and I love using it so much. Um, w one of the best parts about it is I never really feel like it's bullshit either, like going against it. It just feels like a fair, very good perk. It's like actually strangely very good design. The only problem I have with Iron Will is the fact that sounds don't really work very well at all. So sometimes, um, well, yeah, I'll, I'll get into that. But Iron Will is one of the only perks in the game that allows you to take chases in a completely different way. It allows you to do things that you're not normally able to do. I'm just going to play a clip just from my last stream because I just brought it up uh, as an example of something you cannot do without Iron Will. So right here, um, I'm pretty dead. I get a flashbang and then I put scratches. They kind of project a bit further down the hallway. And now I'm just sitting right here behind the wall. This is not something you can do if you don't have Iron Will. If you don't have Iron Will, it's extremely obvious that you're right behind the wall because you're loudly going, eh, eh. So... This, you can't do this without the perk. Also, take a note of this strange little, like, like, spinal deformity going on with Dwight there. That's very important and totally related to what I'm talking about. Um, so this allows you to do plays that you're not normally able to do. For example, something really stupid like sit behind this wall. But he can't actually know I'm right there because he can't see through walls and he can't hear me through the wall. So it actually just lets me completely get away. And that's why Iron Will is such a good perk, because it lets you do things that you're not normally able to do. Here's another example. As soon as I get out of line of sight, then he has no idea where I am. But I still have an idea of where he is. And this is why Iron Will is so strong. To put it sort of in a, in a weird comparison term, Iron Will essentially does to the killer what Spirit does to the survivor. It's like with Spirit, you basically have most of the information. It's like 90-10. You know, you can... Um, you can hear them, you can hear their injured grunts, you can see their scratches, you can uh, hear their footsteps, watch grass moving, stuff like that. Survivors basically don't really have any of the information. Iron Will, to a lesser extent, I'm not saying obviously it's as you know potent as that comparison, but to a lesser extent, it's the same sort of process where you're now depriving the killer of that same information. So an example like right here, where I run out of line of sight. Now, I can still track where the killer is. Killers are much louder than survivors. They have loud breathing sounds, walking sounds, their red light is visible, even their teridius shrinks or grows based on their proximity to you, um, so you can have a pretty good idea of where they are. Now, if you get out of line of sight and you don't have Iron Will, most of the time, the killer can still hear your injured grunts because it's pretty loud. It's so loud that it actually goes past the whole audio occlusion issue that DBD has, which is a huge issue, but... It's so loud that you can still even hear it through walls. Now, what you can't hear through walls a lot of the time are things like footsteps and, um, you know, like whatever terrain they're running on because audio occlusion in this game is so busted that as soon as they get behind a wall, they just don't exist anymore, according to the, uh, the sound design. So um, Iron Will makes it so when you get out of line of sight, the killer basically now has to guess. He can't hear you through the wall anymore. He can't make a play. So again, I can do something dumb like this where I actually just sprint directly back into where the killer was because he can't hear my footsteps. He can't hear me breathing on their side, but I can still hear him on the other side now going down that hallway. So I can, with full confidence, basically run right back into where he was and then just run away. And normally that's like a dead sentence, that area. And now I actually am able to get away even further. This was like three really close examples of how Iron Wool lets you take chases in a completely separate way. And that's why it's so good. Another amazing thing about Iron Will is as soon as like, you know, say I'm like, you know, at a like a long wall, short wall, like, um, you know, like the uh, pallet loop with it's got like the short wall and then the long wall and the palace in the middle. They're not super safe pallets. Um, so you typically you'd want to drop those early. But if they're not dropped early, like what I'll do is and what most good killers will do, we'll try to like moonwalk or reverse moonwalk or something like that. But Usually, it's because we can hear the survivor on the other side. Even their breathing, sometimes you can hear on the other side. Iron Will stops you from breathing as well for some fucking reason. Actually, I know exactly why it does. Because this game is spaghetti and it's coded with two states. You're in your uh, healthy state, you emit breathing sounds. And if you're in the injured state, you emit your injured sounds. 
Um, but if you have Iron Will, it removes your injured sounds, but it doesn't put in the breathing sounds because they can only play one sound. It, it, they just, it's too complicated, apparently. So um, as soon as they get out of line of sight, then I don't really know what they're doing anymore. And they still have a lot more information on me than I have on them. And here is probably one of the strongest parts about Iron Will. When you have Iron Will, I now, as a killer, have to guess if you're actually just going to leave the loop or not. And this is one of the biggest counters to good killers in the entire game. It's just simply running away while we're trying to do some giant five-head mind game. If you have Iron Will, I don't know if you're doing that or not. Whereas if you don't have Iron Will, I can hear your injured sounds, and then suddenly I'll stop hearing your injured sounds, which means I need to stop mind gaming whatever I'm doing and leave because you've already left. And that is, I think, the strongest part about Iron Will. To put it in a nutshell, it enables survivors that get out of line of sight to make the killer also guess where the hell they went. And that is such a powerful chase tool. It's, it seems weird to say it's a chase perk. Like, you would think it's actually a perk to say hidden or a stealth perk or something like that. It's not. It's a chase perk. It's so I cannot track you the second you get out of line of sight. I have no fucking idea where you went. And that is such a powerful tool. Um, people are already using Iron Will. I'm not scared of this video making more people use it. It's already known to be a very good perk. I just wanted to exemplify how it lets you play in a different way and how it lets you do things you're normally just simply not able to do. It's one of the only perks that lets you do that, that lets you actually tackle loops in a completely different and more bold and crazy way um, because of the complete lack of audio that you make. It's just, it's such a fucking good perk. I can't ever blame survivors for running it. It's just so damn good. And I still don't even think it's overpowered. I think maybe they should make it so you're breathing while you're injured, especially since they nerfed Strider. I think that would be fair. Um, but for the most part, I, this is one of the few examples in the game of a perk that I think is so incredibly good, but it's not actually broken. I mean, it literally is broken because they don't breathe, but it's not brokenly overpowered or anything like that. So I actually like Iron Will. I, I respect it as a perk. I hate going against it, but I damn it, I respect it. Uh, anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.